generalities, but this is the way things tend to go. Luke, uh, I, I just give you the opportunity to say anything you want before we move on. Yeah, what, one of the most common warning signs that you're dealing with that one third of the population that's dysfunctional, highly likely to have destructive addictions operating in their life is if you hear from someone that their phone has died. Right? My, my phone has never died. So people's credit scores essentially correlate with how much charge they, they keep on their phones. So responsible adults keep their, their phones charged. But if, if someone can't keep their phone charged, if someone uses the excuse that their phone died, like uh, Andrew Huberman, who was uh, number one uh, health and fitness uh, podcaster, was exposed in New York Magazine over, over the past week, and he would often use the excuse when he's operating six simultaneous girlfriend relationships, oh, my, my phone died. That's always a warning sign that someone's dysfunctional. And so one has to be you know, very wary about allowing anyone into your life who is that dysfunctional because this this is just a symptom this is just this is just the the, the little movement on, on top of the water that that reflects the whole maelstrom going on under the water so people who can't show up on time who say that their phone died people who you know bounce checks all right uh these are not people that you can build a you know, solid community or, or bond with, they're just going to be an endless source of chaos. So about a third of the population out there is probably going to be much more of a sense of, bring much more of a sense of, of chaos into your life. So good people make you feel good. Bad people make you feel bad. We have to, to build our foundations on our connections with good, solid people.